Getting better at Valorant can be annoying when some players insist that aim training does nothing to improve skill, while others spend every waking hour in aim lips grinding to improve. In my last video, I demonstrated that with a consistent routine, you can improve your aim training and practice ring scores. Some people, however, were ready to kill me in the comments over this video, so I have devised a series of tasks for myself to perform which can help us explore deeper into the topic of improving in Valorant. In this video, we'll be looking at one very extreme method. The field of behavioral psychology has presented us with methods to train animals to do things. Perhaps the most well-known experience from this field was Pavlov's dog. Pavlov noticed his dog would salivate whenever it was presented with a treat. He wondered if he could train the dog to have the same salivary response to a bell that was rung every time a treat was presented. His theory was that the dog would eventually associate the bell noise with the treat and eventually salivate solely from the bell noise. It ended up working and his experiment helped launch the practice of psychological conditioning. In Pavlov's style, I had an idea to train a human to perform better at Valorant. If a small electric shock is delivered to the player every time they die, the brain should be more inclined to adapt and avoid the negative stimulus according to conditioning theory. Would electrocuting myself in deathmatches help me get better at Valorant? Is what I asked myself. And who better to test that theory than myself? Alright, what's up everybody? So you know what we're doing. I'm going to be testing myself in Valorant by electrocuting myself. Hopefully it makes me a little bit better, but I'll let you know I'll let you guys know how it feels. So let me queue up for a deathmatch. And let's see how we do. Match found. I got my boy Matt helping me out with the electrocution. He's gonna be monitoring the deaths here. It looks like we get Pearl. This is not good. There's a lot of angles we could die from. Alright, ready? Shot today, don't worry. Okay, here we go. Fight! Eyes up. Okay, I'm actually getting quite frightened now. I'm kind of in a shit spot. Oh shit! That's one. That felt clean. Definitely playing a little bit more passively right now. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this man is just standing over me waiting right now. Okay. This is now actually life or death. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Dude, I, I got the right. I killed him and he still shocked me. What a little prick. I definitely feel my movement being more crisp. Oh my god. Okay. Well, yeah, last time we did this too, we had the, uh, we had the shock color on my right arm and it made aiming a little bit difficult after a while. So it's on the left now. It's on 30, right? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely feel that. Woo, that was clean. All right, nice. Three gone. Yo, I'm crispy with it. Now four. When there's really something on the line, you tend to play a little bit more focused, I'll tell you that. <sighs> Not much you could do about that one, guys. I think we got to turn it up a little bit, honestly. I think you should put it on, uh, don't do that one, and turn it up to 40. Because I really want to be scared, and I'm not that scared right now. Uh. 
Viper down. Approaching B long. Oh my god. Holy shit. Alright. 40 is good. That'll definitely uh, train me here. God damn. Oh. This is like... Oh my god! Okay, so I have to be taking better positions here, or else I'm just gonna keep dying. This is also- Oh! This is also a really slow deathmatch, we're only on 30 kills at 5 minutes. Ten kills remaining. We're going 14 and 11. No, this guy is good, I preferred him, nice. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You have one job. You have one job. You just have to see me die and shock me. You keep fucking up. Jesus. Oh, we're skipping it. I'm sweating. My arms are sweating. Five kills remaining. It's actually like really sticky on my desk right now. I'm feeling scared. Oh my god. That guy. Just has better aim than me. Gotta hit Kovacs again. Woo woo woo! What do you think you're doing? Oh! 20 and 14. Get my head in the game here. What is that lag? One kill remaining. Oh, that was nasty. All right, let's get it. Okay. All right, deathmatch number one is done. Honestly. It was a little scary, but I think it uh, definitely helped a little bit. So let's get on to two. Dude, you're fucking terrible, bro. Yeah. Alright, so we're back in Deathmatch 2. Let me give you guys a little bit more information. This is the shock color that I have. It's strapped on my left arm. And uh, we're gonna see what this puppy can do. We're operating at 40 out of 100 power. So it's no joke. It feels pretty powerful, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it's warm up, bro! Can you fucking pay attention, dude? I literally just told you! I just said it's warm up, bro. I may as well just fucking do it myself. Dude, why are you dying and then looking at me? You died and then looked at me. You cannot mind. possibly say that that is like a you correct died. argument died. right now, dude. Fuck yeah. Woo! Oh god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I didn't look at you that time. Did I prick? Oh my god! <laughs> He's got an AWP here. Somebody's got an AWP. Last time, the first time I tried this experiment, I had to re-record it because... Uh, because the audio was fucked up. But it was on Icebox, and I can tell you that Icebox is pretty fucking difficult with this! Because of all the f long angles, people can peek you from behind. It's kind of frustrating. So let's see what we got. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! I can't get a break. I can't catch a break here. I'm gonna sweat through this shirt. That was like a laser. I can feel a little bit of lag here, which scares me. Oh! Oh!
Bad angle, bad angle. That would have been nuts. Fucking shorty. Okay, so this one's not going good. This is a seven and eight. I feel like my aim is actually being... Oh, wow. That was a little lag. That was lag, motherfucker. But I feel like my aim is actually kind of getting fucked up by the fact that there's so much pressure... ...right now. I'm not gonna let that happen. All right, this is becoming unmanageable right now because every time I respawn, I'm recovering from the last shock. I can't get my bearings right here. Fucking pussy. Maybe I'm the pussy. And we're not even at 30 kills yet? What is with these garbage games? Oh. I might have to be the one to, to bring it to 40 here. Oh. My arm is just dead, dude. I feel like at this point you're just beating like a dying horse. What? He said, does that mean I should turn the voltage up? And, all right, so we're at 40. We could turn it to 50. You want to do this one at 50? No, hold on, bro. 60 is a lot, dude. It's on 50 or 60. All right, just do it. Oh, all right, we're going to do it on the next death. Okay, this is really intense here. Oh, wow! That immediately just jerks my arm. God damn. Spray and pray, baby. Spray and pray! No! <laughs> okay, that's one. That's two. Laser precision. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Five kills remaining. Five kills remaining. All we have to do is last five more kills. We're going 21 and 21. That's a 1.0 KD. Just a little bit over now. Which I'd actually say is pretty good. Considering what we're dealing with. Whoa, lag. Oh, hopefully that's the last one I'll have to do. Oh my god. One kill remaining. Come on! GG. Dude, that one was rough, bro. I'm sweating. All right, so let's talk about the results. Personally, I would not do this again because it wasn't a sustainable form of training. Getting electrocuted makes it difficult to have fun when you're playing, and that's the main reason I play, so it defeats the purpose for me. However, I will say that I had very heightened senses and focus during the experience which I think helped my performance overall. It was probably from all the adrenaline being released in the stressful situation. So overall, I would not do this again nor would I recommend it, but I will say that my performance was improved while I was doing it.